Hello, my friends, David Kessler here, and welcome back to the studio. Well, with so much Zoom, Zooming going on with the Zoom classes, and uh, I'm sure many of you have taken online Zoom workshops, um, I thought I'd give you a little tour of the setup that I use in case you're thinking about teaching something on Zoom. This will give you some idea of what you might need uh, to set up to, you know, provide a Zoom workshop to somebody. Now, I use two cameras. You know, you really don't need two cameras. You can do it easily with one, but I'll show you what I use and the setup I use just in case it'll help you. Now, if you're looking for Zoom workshops, I have a whole bunch of those uh, scattered about, uh, you know, from now until, uh, I'm still putting some on the website, but now until August. So check those out at davidmkessler.com, and I have a link to that in the description below. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so the heart of any setup, of course, is going to be, you know, a uh, laptop computer. Now, I don't use the camera on my laptop because it's not as good as these little, you know, Logitech webcams that I use. And this little guy's just on a tripod, you know, and it's pointing towards... Um, where I would be teaching. Now I've connected this with an extension, a USB cord extension, right? This is the camera cord coming into the extension cord. Now this one's right here next to the laptop, so I don't necessarily have to use it, uh, but I do have that on there. And I have the two cameras connected with this little docking system here, which you can find anywhere at any electronic store or anywhere online. Right, and that just plugs into the USB port on my laptop. Right, so the so the connections, the USB connections from each camera come in right there. As you can see, if I'm standing here teaching, I have a, a whiteboard back there in case I need to write notes or something on that. Right, and I have, of course, I have the lights. You know, you got to have the lights. So here's the camera that sits on a boom above my painting table. Let me back up here a little bit so you can see that. If I don't fall over the other lights. So that's my painting table. Right. And this this shows pictures of the palette as I'm mixing the colors and all that sort of thing. It's the same camera, right? It's a Logitech webcam. And I've got that connected together with an extension, a USB extension, same as the other camera. The camera cord runs down the boom and connects to there with the extension. Runs under the painting table. This is very sophisticated, as you know, very sophisticated. Everything I do is very sophisticated. On the, ta on the floor, and then up to this little docking station that we looked at a moment ago. Right, now if you're, you know, if you're on the, the Zoom lesson, right? You're seeing me up there teaching. And of course, there's a, you know, another light. So I've got four lights total that light up my working area, both the table area and the wall area from which I teach, right? So that's it. Pretty simple, pretty simple stuff. So as you can see, my setup is really simple. I just have lights. I have two cameras right they're the exact same camera they plug into a docking station which plugs into my laptop and from that because both of the cameras are connected to the laptop when i'm on a doing a zoom course all i have to do is click one button that switches between the two cameras so there's no uh difficulty you know in in syncing the cameras there's no specific specific pardon me software that you need to make any of that happen Zoom has all of that stuff in there, and it's really easy uh, to, you know, get in there and, and provide a course for somebody. So if you're thinking about teaching one, don't think you have to have a lot of fancy equipment. You can use your phone as a camera. You can use a tablet as a camera. You can use the camera on your laptop if you have a laptop. Uh, like I say, I don't use them because the clarity is not quite as good as one of these webcams, right? But you don't need a lot of fancy equipment. You don't need a sophisticated setup. You just need to work with what you have in the space that works for you 
and don't be shy about technology. <clears throat> you know, and I know a lot of ours, you know, they say, well, I don't know anything about technology. Well, you know, <laughs> the whole world runs on technology, so you have to figure it out. And it's not complicated, but you need to keep up with what's going on in the world and don't get left behind because if you get too far behind, it's going to be difficult to catch up. But it's not complicated. It's not scary. It's easy. Put the, put the Zoom app on your laptop and that'll give you everything you need to be successful at providing a good Zoom workshop for your students. All right. Hope this was helpful for you. Again, check out my online uh, workshops and the Zoom workshops. They're on my website, davidmkessler.com. There's a link below uh, to the online workshops. And I hope this was helpful, and we'll see you on the next video.